Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing an AC campus tour. So to start, we have a beautiful drone view by the seafront right there. That would be Madiba House, one of the houses that you can live in if you come to AC. That arrow is pointing at the jousting field, which is a nice big field. Right down here is Blue Garden, followed by the Rose Garden right there. And next is the Beast Garden. And we will see those a little more closely. Next, we're seeing the top lawn and our beautiful castle. Here you can see beautiful castle that you get to live in. Now we're going underneath the castle and this is a bunch of offices where uh, student services are and if you need any academic help you can go in there. Uh, right through here would be the inner courtyard. This is my friend Skye. Unfortunately it was too windy to hear her voice but she is introducing us to the inner courtyard which leads to the dining hall which she's pointing out which we will see right away. And these windows are some rooms that people rent out um, if you ever want to stay in the beautiful castle. Um, here is also some great places for some photos and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So now we're inside. As you can see, that is the inner courtyard that we are now looking into the dining hall. And this is a beautiful dining hall that you can see with chandeliers and this dining hall is not just a place where we eat. It's got a piano in the corner, which is absolutely lovely. dining hall isn't just a dining hall at AC, it's a place where people dance, it's a place of expressing your culture, bringing awareness to things, and so much more than just a dining hall. Now we are going to see the church that is on and the graveyard. Um, this is just beside the castle and going down to the valley. Now we're going to show you the rest of the dining hall sort of. This is called the breakfast room where you can sit down and eat breakfast. And they recently put up coat hangers for your coats and bags so we don't have to bring them into the dining hall, which we don't encourage. You do not bring your bag into the dining hall if you're first year. Make sure you don't bring your bag. Next, we are going up to the library. So when you exit the dining hall, there's um, stairs to the left, and this would be the Agatha Christie Library. Um, and you will see how absolutely gorgeous it is. there are two knights that guard over the library at night and and absolutely gorgeous um, a great place to just study and you can actually get really good pictures there as well but it's a absolute beautiful structure in there and usually relatively quiet and basically every any book you can think of Next, we are going into the computer lab. So AC does provide computers that can access any sort of software. Um, so if you don't have a laptop, you can use a school computer. This room is always really cold though, so, and also a printer, so you get a certain amount of credits to print. Next, we are going to see the king and queen, because why not? Going down the stairs, we are going to Right here to your right, we'll see that a little bit better, it's called the gun room. And now we are going into Great Hall, and this is where uh, councils are held, 
and a great place for meeting spots because it's usually very quiet and also a comfortable place to sit. Now going up to the left, which we won't see, but those are some more classrooms, such as I'm pretty sure the anthro classroom, classrooms up there. Um, there's a bunch of hidden gems in the castle, so it's a great place to explore. Now we are going into the TLC learning room. This is where if you need extra help, you can go. Counselors are over here as well. Or if you just want a quiet, really, really quiet place to work, that's perfect. This right here is the Bradenstoke Hall. This is where our town hall meetings are held. It, it's an absolute beautiful structure and it lots of dinners are held there as well um, with a beautiful ceiling that a lot of people say it's made from an old boat, which is cool. But the Bradenstoke isn't just a nice big hall for things, it also holds big spectacles, as well as other beautiful AC memories that I have. Next, we are going into the gun room. It's just a beautiful hallway where lots of people walked by. Next to the left is the canteen, which unfortunately we won't see, but going up to the right, this is going to some classrooms and the carol units. So straight ahead, there's the university room where university council counselors are. And up the stairs where we are now are classrooms. And here is just a little bit of a video of a classroom. This would be, I'm, I'm pretty sure, an economics room. Now this is one carol unit. It is a nice carol unit and it's where second years go to study usually and they get passed down to first years. This is S13, this is my carol unit up here. I got it passed down to me from one of my second years and I passed it down to one of my first years. So this is where I come to study and everything and it's a great place to just hang out with friends as well and a nice place to have your own place to study. So now we are going to go towards the history and global politics room. So walking straight down this hallway, um, as you can see it's nicely decorated with posters and the, you can see the beautiful structures of the doors and the nice filming by two of my first years. Candela and I know have filmed this for me and they did a great job. But to the left is an office. Here you will see it's just a room full of of books and stuff so nothing super crazy or super special right there now the beautiful part of walking in this hallway is being able to see the nice windows being able to be seeing outside and the top of the castle so upper gibbet that they have rubbed their hand on is a room that you can stay in if you want to rent and now the beautiful balcony that actually looks down into the library when you're walking past going to your classes, which is so amazing. The video doesn't do it justice. Now walking up, this is another classroom to your left, which you will see in a moment. That is the global politics classroom um, where we all sit um, and it's quite beautiful. It's got lots of windows and a big screen. Um, Next, walking further down the hallway. Ah, uh, yes, look out the window. I know it, that's great. <laughs> um, walking down this hallway to the left, that's another carol unit.
And next is history too. So this is a history classroom. This is also a great place to study. It's usually a very quiet room with a beautiful structure. And yeah, so that's those. Um, thank you very much, Ainoa and Kendall, for your help in filming this. I appreciate the amazing filming that you guys have done. And that's Nelson Mandela.